Welcome back to my channel. So for today I have this glowy, dewy, very fresh look for you and it's a lot of neutrals, it's a lot of highlighter and it's a very glammy look. So if you want to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. So the first thing I will do is to prime my face of course and today I'm going to use the NYX Photo Loving Primer and this is the Anti Redness primer and this will cancel out the redness in my skin and it feels really nice on the skin as well. I have some red spots in my face that I want to cover up so I'm gonna use the NYX Color Critic Palette. I always go for this one. I really like it because you have six different shades. So you have a yellow one, a green one, a lavender one, a pink a orange and a dark one down here so I think it's perfect for you who love to color correct on top of that I'm gonna apply the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this is the color light medium and this is to cover up the green shades so I don't look green underneath my foundation So for foundation today I'm gonna mix two foundations and it is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and this foundation is the best foundation I have tried uh, especially for me who has oily skin uh, it's for people with normal to oily skin so it's really mattifying and it's pore minimizing so I love this foundation it's my favorite favorite foundation and I am so happy that it is a drugstore foundation so I believe everyone who has oily skin should try this foundation and as I said I'm gonna mix two foundations and the other one is the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced and this foundation adds a little bit more coverage so I like to mix those two To get a really fresh and dewy and glowy look, I'm gonna apply some Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and this is the color Moonstone and it is this liquid formula. So I'm gonna apply it onto where I want extra glow, so like on my cheekbones, on my brow bones, my nose, my chin and a bit uh, above my eyebrows. So with this I have more control over where I want to glow and where I don't want to look greasy or oily or shiny. I don't believe it would look good on me if I mix this product in my foundation because I, I really believe that I would have looked really oily, shiny, greasy after a few hours because I get so shiny by myself. So now I glow exactly where I want to glow. It's time for concealer and today I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Urban Decay It's time for concealer and today I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Lightweight Concealer and this is Bare Neutral And quickly I'm gonna set the concealer with my Laura Mercier translucent powder so the concealer don't crease during the day. I like to press on some loose setting powder around my mouth as well because when I'm smiling I always get those cute little lines around my mouth and I don't want the foundation to go into those lines.
for my eyes today I want to do a very soft and a very neutral and glowy look so I'm gonna use the Mellow Cosmetics Treasure Chest palette so I'm gonna go in with the shade Pearl first which is this pale neutral gray brownish brownish shade I am so bad at explaining colors but I'm gonna go in with Pearl first and I am using my Morphe MB23 brush and this is my favorite blending brush. And then I'm gonna go in with Tiger Eye which is this brown shade and I'm gonna use the same brush. And then I'm gonna go in with the color Onyx on the outer part of my eye and this is a very dark chocolatey shade I'm gonna focus on the outer part of my eye, in the outer V. On my eyelids, I'm gonna use the color Smoked Topaz. Do you pronounce it that way? Topaz? Topaz? I don't know. So I'm gonna use this champagne shade down here on the entire eyelids. On my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with Tiger Eye again using my Sueva 226 brush and this is the Smudger brush. With my Sigma E30 brush, I'm gonna dip into the color Crystal, which is this silver white shade and I'm gonna apply it in my inner corners. I'm gonna use the same brush and dip into this Cover Effects Illuminator and this is the color Sunlight and apply it on my brow bones. On my waterline I'm gonna use the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil and this is the color Nude so it will open up my eyes a bit more. For lashes today I'm gonna use the Your Lashes in the style Sadira. My eyes are done and I'm gonna move on to my face and the first thing I'm gonna do is to contour and I will use the Shade and Light Contour Palette from Kat Von D and I'm gonna use the shade Shadow Play. For contour I'm gonna use the Sueva Lux Face Paint Brush. For bronzer, I'm going to use the Hula Bronzer from Benefit Cosmetics and to apply that I'm going to use my favorite bronzing brush and this is the Morphe M462 brush. For blush, I'm gonna use the Milani Cosmetics Baked Blush in the color Luminoso and I will apply it with the Soeva 126 brush and this is the Lux Chic Finishing Brush. For this look, I want a very fresh glow uh, so I will use the Bobbi Brown Limited Edition Highlighter and this is in the color Afternoon Glow this is my favorite highlighter and I'm gonna show you why. So it has the most gorgeous champagne color and it's very subtle. I love this highlighter for a day look or for a party look. So I love this highlighter, it's my favorite one. I will apply my highlighter using my Morphe M510 brush and this is my favorite highlighting brush. It's so small so you can use it on your cupid's bow, on your cheekbones, on your brow bone, on top of your brow. So I love this brush. So I want to keep my look very soft and natural, so I'm gonna do a nude lip and I will use the 
NYX Lip Lingerie Liquid Lipstick and this is the color Baby Doll. So guys, that was it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial with all the glam and the highlighter and yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything I will post in the future. I will see you in my next video. Bye!